Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today, just going to mention how to roll back your game or change the version that you are playing. We've been through Alpha 20, 20.1 to start with, of course, 20.2. And now, as I record this video, we are on 20.3. And even that's had a couple of hot fixes. And as these come out, of course, they change the game enough, because we're in Alpha still, that they can affect the gameplay. So, when we head over to Seven Days to Die and we click on Continue Game, then we can see all the random things that I have been doing over time, but we can see a nice green Alpha 20.3, because that is, of course, what's up in the top right-hand corner, the version that I'm using. But if I go right back down to when Alpha 20 came out, here are some of the early versions um, of the Physics Playground, and uh, they're now corrupted. I should really, really delete them, but thankfully I have them here to show you, and you can see that they're in yellow. When I hover over that little yellow Alpha 20. Point zero, as that one was. It says saved game was last played with a slightly older release. Continuing this saved game with a newer game build can cause corruptions. And as we say, a few people have mentioned these corruptions uh, in chat. They either uh, just immediately die or, as I found with my recent Feral Sense series, I couldn't continue because my Alpha 20.0 game kept coming up with random crashes and uh, the, the menu system at the top kept appearing with lots of red text text in the middle of my recordings. So what can we do about this? Well, under Steam, what we can do is go to where it says Seven Days to Die, the game that we're going to play. Now, obviously, I'm recording this video, so I have Seven Days to Die running. So I'm going to click Stop, and we're going to exit the game. So you want to be in a position where you're ready to play, but we're going to change things. Now, there's a few different ways of doing this. We can either click on the cog on the right-hand side, and it says Properties, or we can right-click on the game list and hit Properties. But when we do, up comes all the different options that we need. Now, beaters is the one that you need here. And this has two different things, a drop down menu and also somewhere where those big streamers, they put in a code and they get early versions of the game. For us, it is the drop down menu. And interestingly, we can see lots of different alphas. Look at that alpha 10 all the way back there. Alpha 11.6 was roughly when I first started playing the game a while ago. As we go through, we'll eventually find alpha 20.0. 20.1, 0.2 and 0.3. So if your game was in alpha 20.0 then you can click on this and immediately you see on the right hand side it says update over here and it starts to go through the procedure of downloading and updating uh, so you get the older version of the game. And when that's done then you can see the play button and of course we can click on play and get into the game. So now we are in alpha 20 or alpha for 20.0 b238 an older version if i want to continue game now you can see that my 20.3s have all gone yellow because of course it doesn't quite know what they are but right back here the alpha 20s are okay now the thing is for some people going around and changing these all the time can be a bit of hassle but if you've got a game that's becoming a little unstable but you're enjoying a nice long game then it's absolutely worth doing once you're done of course you can right click hit properties go to beaters again and get yourself back to the original and latest version of seven days to die i wouldn't advise of course clicking at 20.3 here because this will be probably an earlier hot fix what we need to do is click on none when you do that again we see the update symbol there we will get the downloading happening and we will be up to the very very latest release now when those beaters do appear again in beta when we do a drop down usually i think it's at the very very bottom when alpha 21 will be out in a long while from now we'll see a beta sign there and that's how you get that before it releases as the full game anyway so thank you for watching today i'm going to get myself into my game now um i hope that you have enjoyed this video and you are going to hit that like button Tell me how it's going for you. Does this help? Have I missed anything out? And of course, hit subscribe for videos all the time. And we will go into the playground and enjoy lots of POIs. And I'll give you all those tips and tricks. I'll see you later. Goodbye.